So we're going to try and make pasta in the uh, instant pot uh, with Italian sausage. So the first thing that we're going to do here is brown the Italian sausage. As you can see, that's what Lizzie's doing right now. Um, and to do that, what you want to do is put the instant pot on the saute function, very bottom left. And uh, it's going to default to 30 minutes, that's fine because you can always turn it off. But make sure that the temperature is on normal. Just hit the adjust button a few times. Make sure that the little red light hits normal on the front of your instant pot. Go ahead and brown the meat and um, then we'll move on to the next stage. So our sausage has sautéed, now it only takes a couple of minutes, not very long at all, all you need to do is just brown it. Then the next thing that we're going to do is add in um, a bunch of pasta shells. We've got elbows um, and then you add in the sauce and then one to one and a half jars of water because the Instant Pot is going to need the water and the pasta is going to soak it up like crazy. So uh, are you ready to put those in? That's such a cool sound, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so what we've done is we've just turned it off for now while we do this. Now it's time for the sauce to go in. It might not, oh, it's gonna say it might not be. We're using some white sauce. Oh yeah. Now you think about how long it takes to boil the noodles on the stove usually, and then to fry the sausage on the stove. You probably still be frying the sausage right now and um, have the noodles on the on the back burner just simmering away. What they take 20 minutes or something? We're talking what four minutes to do this. In goes some water. A tiny bit more. We're not using sink water here today, folks. No, no, no. We are using Berkey filtered water, about the best water you can possibly use. Awesome. Don't break the glass. We don't want glass in there. They're not covered. Will that work? I have no clue. I've never done this. I have no clue. But you don't want to add too much water because you're going to water down the sauce. So we have to find a fine balance. Love that. Let's try it. Let's try it. So um, I'm going to stir it up a little bit. All right, here we are. Looking good, looking good. All right, I've stirred up. There we go. <clears throat> Lid is going on. I can't do this with one hand. And make sure the pressure thing is sealed. Okay, now how many, what are we gonna do this on? Four. Four minutes. Just manual four. Manual. And we need to bring this down. Four. That's all it takes folks, manual and four. So we'll check back when this is reached. This is quite an experiment, I don't know what's gonna So there's your four minutes done, and we're gonna leave this now to naturally vent for around about a minimum of five minutes. We're probably gonna leave it a little longer, maybe seven to eight minutes. You can leave it uh, to naturally vent all the way if you like. The longer you leave it, the better it's gonna taste. 
So we're going to leave it about eight or, eight or so minutes and uh, then we'll open it up and take a look at our pasta. So we're on eight minutes. Let's see how much steam we've got left in here to vent out. Now I'm actually going to throw a towel over the top here just to capture the steam and uh, make sure it doesn't damage our cabinets. And also the liquid because it is there is a lot of liquid in there uh, more than usual. So here we go. Ah, uh, you can see, you can see the steam. It's extremely good. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we're, we're capturing all of this. Um, it's actually... I can feel it as well, so... It sounds very foamy. It does sound very and foamy. Are known to do that. Yeah, so just be aware that this is very, um, very liquidy, foamy steamy hot so it is definitely best to put a, a towel over oh like i've done gosh, here it smells so good it does it Smell does that? yep so we're just slowly venting this out So the pin dropped, which means it is safe to open now. So we'll take the towel off and beware, this towel is incredibly hot and very, very full of liquid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it behind me on the floor there. All right, here we go. Let's take the lid off. Open it away from you because you don't wanna get blasted in the face with all this. I'll tell you something though, this smells so good. All right, you can see this. Let's uh, get the wooden spoon here and just give it a bit of a stir. Now you can tell if you if you're cooking a lot of pasta before, noodles, spaghetti, all that sort of stuff. You can tell when uh, pasta is soft and ready to eat, and this definitely feels like it's the right consistency. Um, it is clumping a little bit, but that is fine. That is how it's supposed to be. So we just stir it up and separate it out like this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So hungry. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and put this down here. And uh, I'm going to get some on the spoon and put it into a bowl right here. Hold on a second. Let's put it into this one right here. There we go. All right. Just a small portion and uh, we'll let our uh, adjudicator test it out and see what she thinks. What do you think? Mmm. Oh, that's tasty. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. But I think maybe next time we'll let it uh, naturally release just a little bit more. But other than that, it's good. Mmm. Oh, that was really good. So there you go. That's how you make the Italian sausage Alfredo pasta in the Instant Pot. And uh, again, ours came out just a little bit too dry. Um, but you know you might like it like that you might like it a lot more saucy it is entirely up to you if you want it more saucy let it naturally vent for a lot longer if you want it less saucy then vent it uh, after about five to seven minutes hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and check out our other videos for a lot more